Walmart.com, America's favorite big box store. Some would even say they're Amazon's biggest competitor. Now, being an Amazon seller myself, I wondered if maybe I could spy on my competition, find a product idea on Walmart. So here we are. Welcome to today's video. I thought it would be fun to try and do some Amazon FBA product research using walmart.com instead of Amazon. So if you're new here, be sure to like and subscribe, but without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm on walmart.com, America's favorite. Oh, I already said that, sorry. I think I'm gonna start just right here in departments and let's just see what happens. This is, uh, you know, I used to do this product research method back in the day where I'd go to Amazon's categories and just look through them. Um, let's see what's going on. Um, let's go, let's do home garden and tools and then shop all patio and garden. Let's check that out see what we got so we got grills okay griddles and then the cool thing about this is I'll, I'll actually be able to open helium 10 on Walmart by the way uh, which is pretty epic extremely epic why isn't it going away stop let's go to landscaping all landscaping let's see what we've got miracle grow potting mixes weed killers brown mulch expanding soil all kinds of boring crap but if you're not careful and you start selling some boring crap and you don't do it so boring, you might mess around and make some money. Stonewall border. Interesting. So let me see. Can I, I'm new to this. Can I just open this right here and see how much they're making? Oh yeah. So for all my helium 10 users out there, in case you didn't know, you can open x-ray by helium 10 on walmart.com and it'll actually show you their revenue per month, um, which is absolutely fantastic. And if you don't have helium 10 yet, what are you doing? I'm going to start this journey. It's a great place to start. And there's a link in the description to pick it up if you don't have it yet. So this Cypress Blend Mulch, No Float Mulch, is doing $14,000 per month on walmart.com. Granted. Now, what are some potential problems we might run into here? Well, this is two cubic feet. Uh, it's a pretty big bag. And it's only selling for $36. So the thing with a product like that, you know, peat moss, potting soil, cypress blunt, like it's so big that your fees are going to be very high. So even though it looks like they're selling a lot, their margins are probably very, very slim. So I would stay away from something like that just right off the bat. I don't even need to go check on that one. Even though there's high revenue, high revenue doesn't always mean they're doing well. Matters is profit. You want to see that that profit margins up above 20%. You can hit 30, you're doing a dandy job. However, as your fees and expenses start going up for bigger, bulkier products, it gets harder and harder to maintain that. And you might end up with a measly 15% profit margin, 10% profit margin, which when you're dealing with your first product, which many of you are, then you probably want to see better returns than that. So you can start doing things like doing this full time, quitting your job, paying yourself some money, paying your rent a lot sooner. I'm here to represent the average American. <laughs> it's like I'm running for office. I'm here to represent the average American, right? I, I know there's people out there who want to teach you how to make multi-million dollar businesses. That's all fine and dandy. But honestly, for me in the beginning, it was like, if I could just quit my job, I'm cool. Like I just want to live a pretty normal life and uh, do it on my own terms. So <laughs> thankfully, the good news is you don't have to make a ton of money to do that, but you do have to have a healthy amount of revenue healthy margins. Most importantly, it's got to be consistent, right? We don't want to sell things that we're always scared that it's going to be there tomorrow. But build something that, you know, stands the test of time. But because we are getting so many of those big and bulky um, products in this specific niche, let's go back. I'm going to just click right back to patio lawn and garden. Let's start from there. And in the, then instead of, um, we still go to the garden center, but let's do Oh, we were in all garden center, right? So this should theoretically bring us to another place where we can pick another category. Is that right? Is that how that works? Oh no, I think I forgot where we were. Okay, whatever. Oh yes, categories, here we go. Lawn maintenance, let's try pavers, rocks and stones. Yeah, see, there we go. Something like that it just comes in a tube, a couple fluid ounces, sell for 10 bucks. So I was complaining about like size of stuff and I go to rocks, <laughs> but I, I actually do like the uh, Pro tip, I like going to relatively boring places first. Like I work with the commodities, the basics, the like literally bottom of the barrel ideas. And I tend to just work my way up through categories. So one strategy I might implement here is like, well, go back up. If we went to landscaping, you saw there was like eight different categories. I would just start at the bottom one, look through all of them. And then I go to the next one, look through all of them. Okay. So let's do this. Let's open up 
our X-ray Helium 10 tool. Oh, and I meant to mention, by the way, with the link, there's two versions you can get 10% off for life which is great if you plan on doing this as your full-time gig and whatever. But if like you want to just give it a shot, you're like, I'm going to give it six months. I'm going to try this. I'm going to go full steam ahead. I've got some money. I'm going to try and launch this business. Um, six months for 20% off is probably all that you need. You'll see what I'm talking about when you go to it. Uh, stone wall border. Okay, that's doing nine grand a month. Let's open that puppy up. Okay, super basic. Now, what my original idea was, was I was going to find a interesting idea here and then i was going to go to amazon and see how it's doing so let's do that sassy squirrel what a brand name so we're here on amazon we're here in my garage and okay great <laughs> 57 grand <laughs> that's so funny to me god i love uh amazon and just physical product sales is just so cool because it's just like everywhere you look it constantly crushes the idea that you can't make money online as an average person because someone's selling this product online, I want to show you this. This is important. Someone's selling this product online. This is their product. This is their listing. They're doing 60K in revenue a month. If they had a 30% profit margin, they'd be making five grand a month. <laughs> I just totally botched the math. No, they'd be making like 20 grand, eight, 18 grand, right? Just 25%, they're doing 15K a month in profit. So, yeah, you can win. We can all win. This is boring. It's stupid. It's dumb, old, simple product with no effort whatsoever to be anything more than what it is. Just selling literally, here's the thing. Do you want to buy it? Yes or no for $130. And that's what they're doing. Next thing I want to see is I'm going to go up to related keywords back here on the main screen. And I just want to see what search volume is like. Search volume is super important. We need to know these things. In fact, I like to go to this one, top keywords. Now from here, we get all these different unique keywords that maybe don't have the words that we put in them, but are still providing sales to the market that we just landed on. And it looks like edging border is a common term. So garden border edging is 15,000 search volume. Lawn edging uh, garden border has 9,000. We put stone wall border, um, which seems to be a specific type of look. Um, paver edging. That's one of the terms that we saw in the category on Walmart. Really something called faux stone edging kit. That's 1,400 searches per month. There's immense, um, what I like to call keyword diversity. So the number of phrases a customer can possibly look for that still has search volume that brings you to the same market. Believe it or not, you might convert wildly differently for pavers for landscaping versus garden wall versus garden barrier edging, even though they're all referring to the same thing, that's the importance of keyword diversity is that you may think they're all the same thing, but they all to some degree link back to a phrasing that was in someone's mind that they had an idea of what they were trying to find when they searched that thing. Does that make sense? So then from here, we'd use all the cool tips and tricks that you know I have in all my other videos about value innovation and coming up with a new unique idea for how to launch this to the market but really we're just trying to land on ideas with this product research technique and i think we we definitely are on to something let's go way back to walmart we're gonna go way back out to all departments and just start from scratch again somewhere completely differently let's go like sports and outdoors and let's see what we have in here let's do maybe like boating and marine and outdoor sports maybe we go marine accessory open up our handy dandy x-ray see revenue is pretty small which likely just means we went too far down the category so let's go down a different rabbit hole so i'll come back to sports and outdoors maybe we go hiking and backpacking then maybe we do hiking accessories i sometimes forget how incredibly competitive uh hiking and outdoors and camping is <laughs> see this is why now rocks doesn't seem so bad does it Go back out, do like pets or something. All right, farm animals is the category. Horse pellets. Interesting, alfalfa horse pellets. Certainly an enthusiast customer, certainly susceptible to great branding. They want high quality ingredients. Hmm, I've never really thought about horse food. That's pretty interesting. Let's check it out. Whoa, 40 grand with 100 reviews, US-based seller. What is this? Oh my God, look at the listing quality. You have to be kidding me. 40 grand with this? Come on, look at that. Looks worse than my granddad's underpants. But I mean, seriously, that's what I'm talking about. Now there's some certifications, regulations required with selling pet food and whatnot, but barriers to entries are good. And if someone's willing to pay, ah, oh, come on. This, this just blows my mind. Whenever I see a listing like this, 
It's like there's clearly no like brand presence here. There's clearly this is just like a word of mouth thing, this local little thing. These are the kind of customers that if you put something in front of them that wowed them from a creative perspective and also had all the follow-up ingredients that they were aligned with as a customer, they would just go crazy for it. So a $38,000 per month listing with 100 reviews we found just by looking on Walmart. Um, I'm just here constantly to remind you that if you wanna do this, you probably should just start. And looking is a great non-committal way to do that. Right. So I encourage everyone to just try their hand at product research. I love it. And so I make so many videos about it. I think it's the most fun part of the business, this, and then the listing creation, the stuff in the middle is like, yeah, whatever. There, there's some steps you gotta do there. Some of it's a little arduous. That's where it starts to feel a little bit more like work, bringing it to fruition. But man, once you launch, start making your first sales, there's really nothing like that feeling. So thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed this lesson here and I hope you have a great rest of your week. I'll be seeing you tomorrow for another video. Thanks so much. Later.